But when the cubs are often very mischievous and playful, but it is not understood that in these seemingly peaceful lakes, there are always many dangers, including crocodiles, hungry worms that will not refuse any bait, even if it is a fish. A lion who might become very mighty in the future, the young lion constantly struggled to go to the lake to play. But the mother did not stop it, because it knew it would not be able to do anything if a crocodile suddenly attacked. An animal scene where mother is very sad and mourns for her baby when she dies. Of the lion, many praise and many of them die when they are still young. Just like humans, animals also have emotions. But because of the pressure of survival, we rarely see them show their sadness when they lose their children. If they have a peaceful life, they will lose their lives, and losing a child is a great mourning for them. Just like the monkey in this video is grieving for the loss of his child. But not only monkeys, an animal that most closely resembles humans, grieving the loss of their child in nature. There are countless other species that also know how to grieve when they lose their children. And today, we will bring you scenes of animals showing their feelings when they lose a child. Let's start feeling it. A grieving mother elephant stand next to a baby's corpse, only bones left. Elephants are large animals, but don't be mistaken by their size for the lack of affection and emotions. They always have the most special affection for their children, and it will be painful if they lose their biological born child. Elephants are mammals of the family Elephantia, and are the largest terrestrial herbivores today, with three main species, the African grassland elephants, African forest elephants, and the Asian elephants, that are adapted to a variety of habitats, such as grasslands, plains, forests, deserts, and swamps. African elephants have large ears and concave backs, while the Asian elephants have smaller ears and a convex or horizontal back. Distinctive features of all elephants, including long trunks, large pairs of tusks, and larger ear flaps, or large forelegs, and thick but sensitive skin. The young are the center of attention in the household. When the cubs are born, they are protected by other elephants, and have to be dependent on their mother for three years, when they are strong enough and able to move reliably. Elephants are considered key species due to their significant impact on the environment and the landscape around them. Other animals often keep their distance from elephants, with the exception of predators such as lions, tigers, hyenas, and wild dogs. They often stalk to attack younger elephants. The intelligence of elephants is comparable to that of primates and whales. They seem to have self-awareness and show empathy for their dying of dead members. Elephants are very emotional creatures, especially their affection for their children is extremely great. The video shows a mother elephant standing alone protecting the carcass of her cubs so as not to let scavengers get close. The image was recorded at Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa. A female elephant was standing alone beside the remains of her young. The young was said to have been keen trapped in the waterhole all night, then attacked and killed. Knowing that the child is really gone, the elephant mother are still standing there, dumbfounded and unable to accept the truth, and not wanting to move and not wanting to go on. With herd behavior and the bond with the young from birth to adulthood, that is strong enough, so the loss of the baby is unacceptable for the mother elephant. Possibly, the mother elephant will spend the next nine years guarding next to her baby's carcass. A mother's love is a sacred feeling. It is most precious on this earth. Another member, seeing the pain of a mother who lost her child, quietly approaches. The elephant seems to understand the mother's mood, and it moves carefully, very gently. The grieving mother monkey refused to give up her baby's body. Besides elephants, 
monkeys are also one of the animals that give their children boundless love. The monkey is one of the four-legged animals belonging to the mammal class, the primate order with three larger groups, the new world monkeys, the old world monkeys and the tailless monkeys. The number of species of monkey groups is not the same as it is concentrated in areas such as Africa, Asia, Central America and South America. Of the total groups of monkeys, 264 species have become extinct. Monkeys are omnivores and they can eat a variety of foods such as fruits, nuts, flowers and even some human and insect foods. Structurally, the monkey's body is relatively similar to that of humans. The faces of the monkeys are not the same, but they have some look very pretty but some look very fierce. They know how to express emotions and have many gestures and actions similar to humans. All monkeys live in a separate family group with many members. They always show their love to their fellow humans. On a cold night, they act close to each other to keep warm as they often catch lice and lice in the brush of each other's hair. The female monkeys are often attached to their young when giving birth. Baby monkeys cling to their mothers to feed or learn to survive while participating in activities with the herd. From the age of three, baby monkeys will often separate from their mothers when they have learned how to mingle with other members of the herd and have acquired skills in foraging and dealing with predators. However, even though the child is an adult, she is still her mother's child and the mother always watches over the child, even when that child is no longer there. In the next video is an extremely emotional scene recorded in Ramthamadimbore National Park in India. How sad it is to witness the image of a mother monkey sitting on a tree holding her baby's body with both hands for hours after the baby monkey died. The mother monkey kept holding her baby in her arms, trying to breastfeed the baby but to no avail. Another monkey in the group climbed a tree and touched the baby monkey's face, but did not see any response. The monkey then gently hugged the mother monkey as if to comfort, giving the mother who had lost her child some warmth. The mother monkey sat with her back, hugging her baby tightly to her lap to ensure that the baby was warm with the hope that the baby would wake up. However, no miracle happened. The mother collapsed on the branch, looking helpless. As the mother knows that the baby monkey is dead, but it seems that it still does not want to believe, that it is not ready to accept it. It is true that there are no greater pain or loss than the loss of a loved one, and the most cruel thing for a mother is to lose her child. The mother penguin hugs her baby's body to keep warm. Penguins belong to the order Svenskenkinformes and a family of Svenskenkadium are a group of flightless waterfowl, concentrated mainly in the cold climates of Antarctica, with some in temperate regions. Most penguins eat mollusks, fish, squid or other forms of marine life that they catch while swimming underwater. Penguins can swim and dive in the water at a speed of 6 to 12 kilometers per hour. They can waddle on two legs or slide on their bellies along the snow, a motion called skating, which allows them to conserve energy while still being able to move relatively quickly. Very good hearing plus vision, adapted to underwater vision, have helped the penguin succeed in locating prey and hiding from predators. However, when on land, their eyes seem to be nearsighted and unable to see very well as I like underwater. Penguins are very loyal, following the principle of monogamy. They create a small brood and both parents will take care of a young together. After the egg hatched, about 65 days later, the mother bird continues to warm the chick. One of the most baffling penguin behaviors occurs when the mother bird loses her young. The mother bird at this time will take an extreme action such as stealing other people's babies. This act is said to reduce grief and help forget the pain of losing a child. 
as you can see in this video. Before the cold, snowy and arctic weather, a flock of penguins stood close together to warm their chicks. Unfortunately, one young penguin was frozen to death. Although the body of the young bird is hard, the mother penguin constantly touches the baby with her beak in the hope that the baby is still alive. Finally, the mother bird pulled the baby's body back into her lap, warming it up. Losing a small child, the penguin mother seems to have lost a part of her body, helpless and dumbfounded without changing anything. A dolphin holding baby carcass pushed to the surface in despair. Dolphins are marine mammals closely related to whales. A dolphin is a line with a large body size of 1.2 to 9.5 meters long, weighing from 40 kilograms to 10 tons. The body rumbles tapering down to the tail. Dolphins do not have external ears, and the head and the skull are quite small, with a long and pointed snout reaching to the ears and conical teeth that are extremely sharp, helping fish to hunt easily. Dolphins are a line of fish that evolved from terrestrial mammals, so they breathe through their lungs. This is a line of fish with extremely sensitive senses, with extraordinary eyesight. Dolphins have very sensitive sound frequencies. Dolphins are also a reproductive line in the form of a calving and location. Each spawning, the fish can only give birth to one fish, and the gestation period is about one year. After giving birth, Dolphins will suckle milk through nipples, nursing for 11 months and then separating. Therefore, the love between a mother and a dolphin is extremely close. Think about how if you lost your baby, how would the dolphin feel? The image in this video is the answer. In one word, despair. A mother dolphin is trying to push her baby's carcass to the surface, pushing up and then sinking again. The mother fish did not hesitate to dive immediately to continue her work. A baby cub swims beside her to help her mother if the dead brother's baby sinks too long. Unfortunately, the child did not survive, and the poor mother struggled to push her baby's body out of the water with a glimmer of hope that she could keep her baby alive. In the end, the miracle didn't happen. With the beautiful, but extremely sad images of motherhood in these videos above. We further affirm that the behaviors and emotions in animals have many similarities with us humans. They also know sadness, and they also afraid of being hurt. So we should cherish and protect every creature born on this earth, and it is extremely precious. Hopefully, with the information provided by this channel, you would have more useful information about the world of all species. There are many mysteries and interesting things waiting for us to discover in the future. See you in the next video.